Hello everyone, welcome back to Automaton, episode number 13. And since I last left off, been out and done some more mining and uh, went ahead and crafted a few things for us today. I uh, went out and did a, a fair bit of exploring as well. Um, I'll show you guys basically just from using this. Um, but we got quite a few different places unlocked now um, as far as like villages are concerned So as you can see this is kind of nice They actually label these by like the biome that they're in which is really cool So now I can like just go here I know that this one is actually kind of close to the swamp And uh, the plains also have uh, some more cows to go kill and all that good stuff which is wonderful um, But I got a lot of cows slain and slaughtered for their leather we got quite a bit of that, plus we got a good ample amount of food now. <laughs> it's really not too bad. It was a kind of a win-win situation there. Um, but yeah, so today, I think what I'm going to be working on, um, I we just really need power and we're not going to be getting any anytime soon, like any of the, 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 the much better stuff until we start working towards getting it. Um, and as it sits right now, we just don't have anything in the factory. So what I'm planning on doing, um, just for the time being, is taking our dynamo here that we got earlier on and these water wheels. I'm just going to go ahead and probably hook these guys up. Go ahead and let them start working and doing their stuff. Kind of start building us up a little bit of excessive power. Um, but we're going to do that in a minute. We'll hook that up uh, in a m Actually, you know, probably better to do that now. So we can actually go ahead and start start storing some power for us. Uh, hmm. Let's go check by the windmill. I think I'm going to grab the... Um, which of who's it? The capacitor. Probably should have grabbed that LV to swap it out with. And I think I'm going to probably move that uh, waystone as well. Because it's kind of out of the way. And I do need to finish my home as well. Oh, that's nice. This is actually... Oops. Uh, <laughs> misclick. My bad. My bad. Sorry about that. Uh, it just... It happens, you know. It just slips. Uh, but the factory's not looking too bad. It's about the same. I've pretty much just been getting some more clay. Um, I'm actually looking into still getting the design set up the way I want and you guys are giving me some really great ideas and I thank you guys so much for putting those in the comments as always I love to see your guys' ideas and uh, as always you guys are always more than welcome to, to toss those in as well um, as far as these are concerned I went ahead and let these just kinda run and do their thing for a little bit and I need to get my tank back over here so we can actually start filling it up with creosote but we got 50 buckets of creosote in our tank out there and yeah so what I've done is I set up here a, a small little workshop table um, and gave it a storage upgrade. The reason why I did that is so that I could put the planks down here in the bottom, leave it in uh, you know, the chest-like pattern in there, and then just swap our buckets in and out. Now eventually, I think what we can do is probably automate treated wood planks with the um, this uh, crafter, I guess. I keep forgetting the name of this thing because I, I have not used it very much. What is this? The assembler, right. Uh, we could probably use it with the assembler as we have like, you know, these empty tanks here. Probably fill it up and uh, could probably go ahead and auto craft a few treated wood planks as well as other things if needed. Uh, but for now, let's toss these inside of our blast furnace, our improved blast furnace, which needs just a little bit more love. There we go. Not doing too bad on steel. Wish, we, wish it was better, but that's, that's just kind of life. That's what we got. Oh, oh, and we have an MV right here. It needs some love as well. So let's hook that up real quick. Um, probably gonna grab some. You know what? It, I usually use logs. I think I'm gonna do something a little different. I want to change it up for now. Let's use some factory blocks because they look kind of nice sometimes. All right, and we got ourselves a nice bucket here. Um, maybe that, and maybe some of these, because this is going to be kind of sitting out above the water. It's going to look a little rusty, um, and probably going to try to hook that bad boy up over here. Maybe right here in the middle-ish. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Kind of here on the side. Maybe do something like this. Let me just expand this whole side out, actually. And then we'll take it out one, two, three, 
four. Just to show you guys, I, I can count, okay? I actually know sometimes how to do this. Ish. Sometimes. All right, let's see if that's right. All right, I think we need to take that up probably one more block. But, like I said, I'm probably not going to leave this here until um, once we get our better power gen. Because a lot of you guys have some, some pretty cool ideas on, like, where to set up some power and stuff like that. But, as it sits, and who knows, this might actually look kind of nice when we're done with it. It may look pretty cool. We might want to keep it. We'll see. I've never really kind of set it up like this before, so who knows. Hmm. Kind of looking for something that looks nice, but a little rusted at the same time. Probably some of these segmented rusty plates. These don't look too bad. Maybe do something like here. And to here. Okay. Wait, why did this come out so much? Oh. Because I use my wand. Crap. I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Now, the downside to doing this is I actually need to A, get back in, and B, we're going to have to make that a little bit taller, actually. Do I have... Oh, I do. Nice. Very very good. And we have some scaffolding. Very cool. Which, in all fairness, these actually would make like fit really well, I feel, with doing this. Like, usually you see, like, water wheels and windmills, they have, like, a nice scaffolding on them or something like that, or, you know... Something of that sort, and I kind of feel like that would just look good, you know? Now, what we need to do is run this up above. So, if you guys have never set up a water wheel before from Immersive Engineering, eh, it takes a little bit to do if you want to know how to get the most out of it. Now, there's a few other little tricks that you can kind of squeeze a little bit more RF out of, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. I just kind of want to get the bad boy up and running, you know what I mean? So let's do out to here, and I think that's about right. No, it needs to go right here, which is fine, because I can leave that, that on the back side. And then this will flow out this way. Now, what we need to do is make sure that the water does not escape off the sides, and come out this way, just a touch. Build this up. And then that way, that water will just kind of flow off this way. Let's go ahead and fix that up real quick and then it should just kind of flow down this side and then back in but what we can do let's kind of do that and that might need that there as well and I think we're gonna need something there but maybe something different actually uh, ooh I wonder how the scaffolding would look if we put that there what if we did that that's kind of neat Aww, dang, I was kind of hoping that would uh, help us get over there a little bit easier. Alright, let's close that guy off. Build that over, and... Kind of take this up to here. Maybe do that. And that. And, to be fair, the water's going to be flowing back that way, down and back towards this. So what if we open this up and the water just kind of flowed right off of here, back into... Dang it. Back into the ocean there. That might be kind of neat. Might like that. Alright, let's grab a little bit of sleep. Get some water. We should be good to go. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to make another, another, oops, that is not iron. <laughs> oh, and I did uh, set this up as well. So this is probably something I need to do as well over here for the polis, because um, this also has been using fuel or charcoal. So I just sent this up, not even with any speed or efficiency upgrades, just with the IO and some slot upgrades to pretty much just make charcoal and kind of automatically feed it in there so I didn't have to babysit it every time. Um, but yeah, probably need to do that for the other one as well, to be fair. All right, quickly grab some water, and we should be able to get this water wheel up and spinning so it can start producing us some kinetic power. 
One, two, good to go. I mean, I do love water wheels. Don't get me wrong. I really do. Those water wheels, they look nice. I think that they are a good source of early game power. I just didn't quite feel it would fit my build. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Maybe we'll do that. That doesn't actually look too bad. Kind of looks nice. So, there we go. Water coming in. And almost made it out. So we can kind of kind of fix that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and run another set there. We'll need one more bucket of water on that side. Unfortunately, they don't connect. Otherwise, that would be really, really helpful. Can I do this? Oh, sweet. I can. It just saves my life. Saves my life and some time. Boom. All right, so that flows down. That should be getting a good chunk of power for us. Let's go ahead and fall. And can I set this to... No, I can't. Um... Hmm. Let's go get some connectors. I think you can output on any side. I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Get some MV wire and connectors. And we're just going to hook it up to a capacitor here real quick. Let's use this HV. So while we're not doing anything, eh, let's run it up high. Oh, wow. Actually, that thing's full. Um, Let's use the MV for now, then. I totally forgot that one was full. All right. We'll set our input on the bottom. Hook these two guys up like so. And boom, we are getting power. Beautiful, beautiful, very nice, very nice. Oh yeah, that looks like it's running very well, to be fair. Oh cool, okay cool. I'm happy, that is not working too bad. Now, my other thing is, is I'm not too sure how, how good it looks, but we could definitely look in a minute and see. Gonna get an idea, I'm just gonna kinda let that flow down. That might look nice over on the island. So we'll go take a look at that real quick before we uh, jump in and get the other little bit of stuff up and running. I just kind of want to see how it looks off the side of the factory. We might wind up keeping it, depending on how it looks. Could make it look a little bit better. And if you guys have any ideas, by all means, let me know. Put them in the comment section. I'm actually, that does not look that bad. It could be done a little bit better because it feels so square. Um, We do have block craftery. That, that could definitely help. Just kind of give it a little bit more shape, but the the scaffolding I feel like makes it look pretty nice. The water wheel itself, as far as movement is concerned, kind of adds quite a bit to it. To be fair, not too bad at all. Huh? Maybe we'll keep something like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Because as it sits right now, we just need power. We don't really have a lot coming in, and uh, we just been using and transferring capacitors. We need something over here in our factory so that way we can actually start powering these machines. So for now, I think that'll work out just fine. And we're not doing too bad. Look at that. Not bad at all. All right, so we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and start on the next part of what I wanted to do today. Um, let's kind of move that out of the way. Do that, and boom. Grab that backpack. I like that backpack. I'm actually kind of growing to like it a lot better. I don't have the hotkey set up because it's still set up to our waypoint, uh, but I can change that in the controls. I just, yeah, I just kind of like doing that. <laughs> Cause then I can just leave this here and then like if I need, I can just quickly come over and be like, all right, so I need some Tyrion. I'm gonna need some factory blocks. And then I put away other stuff and then just kind of swap my inventory out. It's like a, a wonderful portable chest. Well, obviously, those are kind of like portable chests as well, but this is just one that's always on your back. You don't even really know it's there unless you know, but it, anyway, anyway. All right, so we want to make today, I'm going to start working on actually making these guys. We're going to start working on the plant oil and the ethanol. So we're going to need the wooden barrels, which I pretty much made everything for these. So let's see, let's grab... Uh, wooden barrels, iron sheet metal, some steel scaffolding, 
I think we needed the cauldrons, the steel fences, engineering blocks, redstone engineering blocks. Probably some pipes. And I think that was it. Grab our book here. And probably a projector would help, I would assume. So we'll start off with that squeezer. Open up that page. Get our engineer's mantle connected to our projector. And I'm going to take a look again. What did this tell me we needed? Okay, we still need a piston. Okay, that's fine. I, I think I have a piston. Yes, actually I do. Look at that. Very nice. All right, so we're going to set these guys up over here. I'm going to show you guys what I did up here. So I went ahead and... Um, I don't think I did show you guys this. I'm sorry. Um, I went ahead and raised up the walls a little bit on this floor here. And I'm kind of thinking maybe setting up some cloches up here like I did here. Um, I went ahead and made some extra cloches. Um, these are actually... I, I think I need one more. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe three more to kind of get our biodiesel up and running once we get to that point. Um, which, at that point, we should be pretty good on power for a while. We'll just want to make probably a couple more biodiesel things, or uh, biodiesel generators. Uh, which I think can also run off, since we have immersive petroleum, I think it can run off of oil or fuel. Um, but I don't know if it's as good still as biodiesel. I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, you guys can uh, correct me if anything. So where do I want to do this? This might be our, our processing line for our ores and materials. This is uh, assembler, so maybe over here we'll set up our squeezer and fermenter. Unless we want to do it on this wall. Eh, nah. Maybe back here. Kind of set them up like right here-ish. Yeah, maybe we'll go, just go ahead and put them against the wall. I may not be too bad. Alright, so we'll get that guy there. See, I, I'm, I really feel that this projector is a great addition to this because it keeps you from having to keep going back and forth, back and forth between your manual to see if you don't really know how to set them up. Um, which, you know, they've changed. I mean, I remember how to do some of the, the, the ones that were before. Like, I kind of remember the Crusher now. Um, but, like, you know, once I change it up and stuff like that, it's really nice to have that thing. That projector just really, really helps. Alright, so we'll do that. Put our piston down, and I think that... Oops, that is, that is not the piston. I have an issue with my mouse. It doesn't like to swap out the blocks once in a while. It's a little bit annoying. But it is what it is. I can't quite remember... Those are structures good. It's supposed to be a center block on something. Ah, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta find that right side, but there we go. We got our industrial squeezer. This guy just needs to get his little bit of power set up and should be good to go. Now let's open up our book again. Take a look inside. Let's go back. Click that back button. And fermentor. It looks like you mean item router, ear defenders, arc furnace, ores. Oh, I just want the fermenter, dude. Jeez. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. I mean, I know you're a paperclip, but jeez. And then, actually, I kind of like that right there. That might fit. This might fit right here in this, this corner pretty well. kind of like it. So this looks like it's ki kind of similar to the other machine. I haven't really made the new, the new versions of these too much. Like I said, my mouse keys don't always swap like they're supposed to, and it's a little annoying, but it... <sighs> I gotta get a new mouse. <laughs> I just don't want to... I don't want to... Oh man, these machines are super easy to make. It's like... Almost, why have we not made them sooner? And there we go. And we got our fermenter. Very cool. Very cool. The only downside to these is that I notice our power is going to be on this side, which is okay. Do we have... I think it's just one input. So there's an input. There's... Okay, so yeah, we're, we're all right. We just kind of got to squeeze things in. That's all. Get it? <laughs> eh, bad pun. 
Bad pun. I know. I know. Please don't shame me, guys. Please don't shame me. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right, so there we go. We got those two set up. We got some power coming in as well. Let's hook these guys up to some power. Actually, wow, that is doing well. I'm glad I hooked that up first. And a little sound of flowing water never hurt anyone, right? Am I right? I like, I like the sound of the water. Uh, there are actually a couple mods that actually... Oops, sorry. Um, That actually have some wonderful, wonderful sounds. And I... I love them. They're like great ambient sounds, and I kind of wish they were in every pack, to be fair. Um, it would just be amazing. Uh, sounds like it changes the rain sounds, it changes just a whole bunch of things, and they're just great. They really are. I uh, might need a couple more MV connectors, so let's do that. And I'm going to need some more MV wire. So we need some Electrum, which we got a little bit here. Let's get eight of those guys and put it on these. I might end up moving these in there. I might. Kind of thinking about it. I feel like we're going to need more room for the factory and all, like, the, 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 the floor space in there. I kind of think we may. If that's the case, I can make a secondary floor room kind of attached to one of the sides, or on a different floor even. Like, this one could be like the bottom floor and we could have like a top floor, you know? And I kind of like how it's just kind of organically growing. I don't know what you guys think about that, but I kind of like that. That just kind of organically is, is growing as we need it, and as we can see that we're going to be like, well, this, <laughs> yeah, we need to expand this just a little bit more. I do like that. It kind of, I don't know, I've always liked making organic builds like this. It just kind of makes me feel at home. Alright, so there we go. Some MV wire coils, we got some relays, we got the connectors. Let's hook those bad boys up. Now, I have been saving these industrial hemp seeds. And if we take a look, let's push you on these guys. You can see they go in our squeezer. This produces us some plant oil. If we click on that plant oil, one of those makes 120 millibuckets of that. Let's go ahead and kind of uh, like hover over some of these and just see how much each of these seeds actually produce to see what our best bet is going to be. Now, pumpkin seeds and I believe melon seeds were actually not bad using these because every time, I think, if you take a pumpkin and you recraft it, you get four seeds. These seeds, you get four of those. That makes a, what is that, 160 millibuckets? For one pumpkin that grows. So, 160 compared to 120. So, you're you're spending a little extra power. Corn kernels actually work well. Huh. I think that's from Tiny Progressions, actually. Simple corn? I guess not. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. But the downside is it only crafts one kernel. Okay. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and use some industrial hemp seeds because this is pretty much what we got right now. So we're just going to go ahead and toss those in there. And I think ethanol, as far as the fermenter is concerned, we got sugar cane here, which gives us 80 millibuckets. A melon gives us 80, which these are actually not a bad source to use because can we hold on oh we don't have the thing that converts these in back into melons so you'd have to make a break uh, a block breaker and something to pick them up but that could be a good form of getting some ethanol to be fair, that's not bad at all. Uh, sugar cane also works pretty well. We got apples, potatoes, and oh my god. <laughs> we might have to get into the corn thing. This is pretty sweet. I mean, the corn's not sweet, obviously, but that's kind of kind of not bad. I might have to grow, grow some corn. Toss those inside of these, um, these cloches over here. Might even move those cloches a little bit closer so we can actually transfer those items into these machines here. All right, so we know our power is gonna be on this orange here, so let's go ahead and hook these guys up. 
one and two. Unless there's one on the top. No, I think that's right. Okay, cool. The only other thing we're going to need to do is probably do something like this for now. To where these two guys hook up on a relay here in the center. Boop, boop, and doop, and doop. And then I think this relay... Oops. Yeah, well, anyways, that's an input anywho, so I was going to say, like, eh, whoops. Oh my gosh, we're already full on power, but we're about to change that up right now. Alright, so we got that set up on output, link that to here, and... Are those not the... Where's the power input? Wait, that's not the power? Ah, oh, that's the power input. My bad. I'm sorry, that's item. Sorry, guys, I'm so sorry. Gosh, I feel like a... I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. There's our power inputs there. I thought they were on the top. I just, I looked and I didn't even see those. I should have looked harder. Alright, let's see if we can actually hook these two guys up together. Nice! Very nice. Cool. There we go. Now we got power coming in. Alright, very neat. Alright, let's grab some levers real quick, but let's see. The squeezer, the fermenter, um... We'll put these in the squeezer. In fact, that's actually already working. Look at that. Very nice. Plant oil coming in already. It's beautiful. We'll need pipes to kind of pipe out this stuff as well. And I think there's actually one other thing that we're going to need to combine these two together. Which should be biodiesel right here. So yeah, is refining the plant oil and ethanol in the refinery. So... Do I have the stuff to make the refinery? That is the question. We'll have to look real quick. At least we can just get the quest done. But let's get a couple uh, levers made real fast. One, two. I just like to have the levers on the machines because, well, I don't know. It gives me that authentic feel that, guess what? We're in the factory. It's very nice and fun. All right, so the only other things we're really going to need for this is two heavy engineering blocks. So let's go ahead and see what we need for those guys. So we're gonna need some steel plates, which... I'm actually just gonna go ahead and use my hammer to save us some time here. And we need a little bit of copper. Oops. <laughs> Where is your brain today? I have no clue. Two of those guys, and we need some pistons, a couple more pieces of steel. One, two, three, four. Do I have any iron on me? I don't. I need one. One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I need to do that again because I just now remembered that I needed two pistons, not one. Good thing I remembered in the middle of it. Two pistons. And another piece of copper. Now, how many of these did I need? Wait, what is that? That's Electrum. My bad. My B. Oh, cool. Perfect. There we go. I think we got all this stuff. Yeah, that ain't too bad. All right, give me a loot chest. See what I get. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. I'm okay with this. I am A-OK -okay with this. This is going to make our AE system just awesome. Like, right off the bat. It's going to be super cool. Oh, man, it's going to be great. Okay, let's go ahead and open up this book one more time. Let's go back and type in refinery. Click on that. Same process. Let's get to it. Bam. Refinery. I think we got everything for this guy. And maybe set him up there? Or maybe here? I can't remember the inputs on these things. Maybe even just put them like kind of in front of these two guys. So we'll like leave a space. We'll see how this looks. I might pull that out one more. One. Maybe there. Yeah, give us a little bit of space in between. 
We'll give that a shot. Let's see how that works out. Oops. Keep forgetting that. All right. Let's do this before that sun gets all the way down. I think, like I said, I think we got everything. That. Fluid pipe. Heavy engineering block. Heavy engineering block. Redstone engineering block. Light engineering block. Some sheet metal. A little bit more sheet metal. And we're good. Man, these don't actually take as many resources as I, I, I feel like they should. <laughs> I don't mean to like say, hey, this needs to be nerfed or anything, but jeez, man. Resource-wise, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm doing so well on like iron. I feel like that's the thing. You really need a lot of iron when you're doing this kind of stuff. But, with that being said, we got that taken care of. Take a look at here. Ooh, quest completed. What was that for anyway? Alternate power, what is this to make? Then the steam turbine is for you. The steam turbine uses steam produced from the boiler and solar tower to produce energy. <gasps> this power generator starts off by using the distiller and just uh, the distiller is optional, it is more efficient. In order to produce steam, you can either, oh dude, that would be sweet. I don't, oh yes, we, we may end up using that. Just have these machines in here because they look freaking cool. <laughs> I totally forgot about the steam boiler from the uh, immersive tech, I believe it is. Is the mod that that comes in? Oh, that's super nice. I might have to, uh, might have to give that a go. Oh my gosh. Refined obsidian? Does that mean I can make the thing I want? I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough. Because I want to make this at some point. I want to get the atomic disassembler. So you need that. Steel. Atomic. Oh, I still need the metallurgic infuser. And that's going to be gated, so. It's fine. At least we got some refined in. Uh, I, uh, obsidian. Words are hard. <laughs> oh, man. Today has been strange. It has been a strange day, but I think this is kind of nice. Alternative steam. Diesel power. Solar Tower. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think that's what we're going to be pushing towards. I'll try to get some some stuff crafted for that for the next episode, but I think that might be our new gen of power. We can start running all of this and actually start in the next episode or so, start getting our entire factory set up. Jeez, man. We're full on plant oil, which is amazing. Um, this, we need to get some stuff in for our ethanol. Power is going up. We, we used a good chunk of it. But besides that, we just need to hook those up, send those things over here to our refinery, and let that do its stuff. But we may not go that route. We'll see. But as it sits right now, hey, we got some more machines in here, and it's kind of starting to look like an actual factory room floor. Just need to do a little designs in the, you know, floor in itself. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Automaton. If you guys did, be sure to hit that like button. It lets me know you guys are still enjoying this series, and it really helps me out. If you guys would and are interested, be sure to check out some awesome links down in the description below. Links to my Twitter, uh, links to my stream, so when I live stream every night on Twitch, unless unforeseen things happen, like my internet craps out on me, but lately that's only been once in like a month or two, which is awesome. So if you guys are interested and want, want to come hang out with us and watch me play some stone block, more than, more than welcome to do that. I uh, had a lot of awesome, awesome of you, uh, uh, awesome amount of you guys come over and uh, say hi and be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know you streamed, I'm from YouTube. And it's been great seeing a whole bunch of new faces. And I thank you guys so much for making that transition and coming over and saying hi when you guys got some time. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, please feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And, well, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.